Hello and welcome to another video tutorial for driverguide.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download another type of file called a DLL file and how to replace that on your computer. Now in some cases uh, you might download drivers from driverguide.com where it may include a DLL file and it could be part of an installation package where you just simply run an executable and it installs uh, DLLs and whatever other types of files wherever they need to go. In some cases, however, you might download a single file. Uh, it could be a DLL file, or it may be multiple files uh, from the website. Um, and you might need to update those those files manually without the uh, without the convenience of an installation package. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So what we're looking at here is a Windows 7 operating system, and I'm going to just drill into the uh, C drive. I'm going to go to Windows uh, System 32 drivers and under here there's a folder called UMDF and inside there you'll see there's a couple three different uh, DLL files now in my situation here I've got a corrupt file this uh, WPDFS.DLL is no longer working so I need to replace that file I've downloaded a file right here on my desktop uh, which is the same file it's a new version of that file and I want to replace the existing one with this with this new one. Now in, in Windows 7 uh, Microsoft introduced a uh, something called user account control or UAC and that kinda changed things the way that permissions work uh, within Windows. Uh, no longer can it be that if, even if you're an administrator, a local administrator on your own computer you may not necessarily have the ability uh, to overwrite certain files that are considered system files for example, these DLLs that are residing in the uh, Windows System32 directory. So in order to give myself uh, permissions to be able to overwrite this file, uh, there's a couple of changes that I need to make. Now, if you happen to be running an older operating system like Windows XP, for example, then these steps probably won't be necessary. But uh, what I'm going to do, since I am running Windows 7 here, I'm going to show you how to do this using the command prompt. So I'm going to click on Start, and in the search box, I can just type CMD and there's my command prompt. I'm going to run this as administrator, which is important here. Say yes. And I've got my command prompt here. Now I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the directory where this DLL is. So I'm going to type, uh, let's see, that's under the drivers slash UMDF folder. The first thing I need to do is take ownership of that file so that my user account has ownership of the file. And I can do that by typing in the command take own space slash f for file and then type in the file name which is the wpdfs.dll. Hit enter and it now tells me that my user account has ownership of the file. The next thing that I need to do is modify the permissions of that file uh, for my user account. And I can do this using another command called cackles, which is spelled C-A-C-L-S. So I'm going to type in that command followed by the file name, the uh, wpdfs.dll. And then I'm going to do a slash E because I'm going to be editing the permissions. Slash P tells it that I'm going to be adding a new permission and then I need to type the name of a user or a group. In this case, I'm going to type in the administrators group. This is the local administrators group on this computer, which my user account happens to be a member of. And I'm going to type colon F for full control. Hit enter, and it says it processed, and that is now complete. So what I can do is minimize this command prompt. I can now go to the new DLL that I want to uh, that I want to use right click on that and say copy and go over to my uh, directory where that current where that file currently is and right click and say paste it's gonna tell me do I want to replace the file yes I do click continue in order to provide administrator access and it's done the file is now uh, updated in this directory. Now the last step that I need to do 
is I need to register that file with the operating system. And I can do that once again through the command prompt by typing in the, uh, the command reg svr32 followed by the name of that file, wpdfs.dll, hit enter, and I get a message saying that the register uh, is complete, is succeed, has succeeded. And now that file's been updated and it should be fully functional, and that is how that you, you can replace a DLL file on your Windows 7 operating system. Thanks again for watching and be sure to check back next time for more video tutorials.